Hello and welcome to my 8th video of my Name for Beginners tutorial series, Case Statements and Ranges. In the last video I have shown you how to do if, else and elif conditional statements. There is another similar conditional statement to the elif, else if statement called a case statement. Just like the elif statement it only allows for execution of only one of its options, with the rest being ignored. It differentiates from the elif statements by not taking multiple conditions that need to be met for its code to execute. Instead, it only takes values. So a case statement is used for execution of code based on a value. Now let me demonstrate. Okay, this is a basic case statement structure. It starts with a case keyword followed by a variable. So this case statement will be taking this a variable that we have initialized up here, then based on its values of zero, this keyword off is the keyword followed by which it will be matching its value, 0, followed by the statement that will be executed, echo a0. Here is for value of 1, here is a value of 2, and here is an else statement that is mandatory, so that all of the cases of this case statement are covered. Just like every other conditional statement, they must end its line with a score sign. Same goes for its matching values of the off keywords. Now let's make a case statement that will take a variable which will get its value by reading from the console, an input, and based on what we will write it will execute some code. Let's use an echo procedure to tell us to enter a name then create a new variable that will read from the console, like this. Echo, enter your name, followed by let because it, we will only be reading once, uh, let's say input and stdn, this is where we were reading from, the terminal, the console, this specifies that, dot read line procedure. Okay, let's copy the previous case statement and modify it. There we go. Let's make it, make it a case of input. Now let's put some names here, Adam and Eve and John. And Let's write here, your name does not match any from the list. Now, echo, your name is Adam. Let's make it so that it outputs some useful code, comment. Your name is Eve and your name is John. Well, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, let's enter a name, say Adam, okay, your name is Adam. Now if we do this again for Eve, it's also going to work, your name is Eve, again with John, and your name is John. All of this works. Now if we type something that is not one of those names, like Adam with two M's, your name does not match any from the list. This else statement will happen instead. Now I will tell you about ranges. When you hear the word range, you think of a value between some starting value and some ending value. This is exactly what ranges are in M, values between point A and point B, or from value A to value B. Making ranges in M is very simple. All you have to do is write a number followed by two dots and ending with the final maximum number. You can also put spaces between the starting value and the range operator of two dots and the maximum value to make it look however we want. All ranges start with a lower value and finish at a higher one. Now I will show you how to match numbers we will write into the terminal again, into a case statement's range values. Okay, let's modify this. Let's write from 0 to 10. This is a basic range, from starting value 0 to value 10. And these two dots are the operator for the range. You can also remove the spaces and make it close. Right now Visual Studio Code is given us an error because we're actually getting a string. We need to convert this, parse it into an integer. For this, we need to import strudels. Import strudels, string utilities. Now parse integer, and this will go away. Now we need to, for the second statement, we start at 11 to 100. The reason we start at 11 and not 10 again is because all of these ranges start at 0 to 10, including 0 and 10. So 
you cannot specify two of the same values in a case statement. You cannot, that will not work. So, okay, let me show you. But then, here we go. It says duplicate case label. Can do this. So from 11 to 100. Now let's put it here from 101 to 1000. Now let's range, uh, let's put it number is between zero and 10. Here, let's put it number is between 11 and 100. Let's copy this line, make it faster. Numbers between 101 and 1000. And let's put in the else statement that number is not within range. Okay, and let's change this from enter your name to uh, enter a number between zero and a thousand. Okay, let's run this. Type one, number is between zero and 10. Well, let's run it again. Let's say 10. So we test this theory. Number is between zero and 10, it works. Now, 11 is gonna put us right here, 11 to 100. Now let's put 120 numbers between 101 and 1000. And now let's put a value that will go out of bounds, like million or something, and number is not within range. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun.